On this week's edition of Jack TV, see how teachers and staff are adjusting to the pandemic, what a local store is doing to work around COVID-19. And we take a look into a hobby a student here at Blue Spring South picked up over quarantine. Jack TV starts now. From Blue Spring South High School, this is the award-winning Jag TV. Welcome to this week's edition of Jag TV. I'm Elise Edwards. And I'm Todd Campbell. Today we see how teachers and students are being affected by the coronavirus. Sawyer and Avery have the story. Things look a lot different for teachers this year amidst the coronavirus pandemic. Their efforts and responsibilities have changed drastically to ensure safety as well as both in-person and online students are receiving the same instruction. The, my initial excitement of being back in the classroom was, was replaced really quickly with, uh, with the overwhelm. I f felt a, a little overwhelmed at first in the fir first few weeks. I teach four different classes and to have to balance in-person and virtual and get kids exactly what they need. Uh, every day is, is really hard. Some of the many struggles teachers are facing include kids going home for two weeks due to possible exposure, a new technology platform to learn, Schoology, and kids going virtual for the semester. Definitely with the technology we've run into challenges, um, learning a whole new learning management system um, from the beginning of, you know, when we started, when we came back has been challenging. And then of course the day to day, if technology isn't working, or students' submissions aren't coming in um, how they should be, that's always a challenging piece. Teachers have been doing their best to sanitize everything and make school as safe as possible for the students. The efforts made by our teachers to keep everyone safe are very noticeable and we appreciate everything they do for us. I'm Avery Rayler for JAG TV. Our staff here at Blue Spring South have been doing everything they can to keep our school sanitized and clean for the safety of us and others. Now we look into what a specific student has been doing to stay busy during quarantine. <laughs> After the pandemic hit, our time was spent very differently, and we all adapted to a new lifestyle. But taking online classes has given some the time to explore new opportunities, including Paige Smith, a senior at South. With having no school, I just really had so much time for taking pictures and editing. People were asking me to take pictures of them, and eventually it got to a point where people would pay me. It was just a nice time to have to get going. In addition to finishing her junior year and taking summer classes, she has done over 50 shoots since quarantine began in March. During the pandemic, I just really grown and learned all about editing and cameras and taking pictures. I'm doing a photo shoot almost every night now. It's getting a lot with school, but I love doing it. You can catch some of her work on Instagram at Paige Smith Photo. She shoots everything from senior photos and sports to families and even for a local business. Paige is just one of many South students who got involved during this pandemic. Keep up the great work. I'm Emily Wilson for JAG TV. Thanks, Emily. After the break, we'll take a look into what's happening around the city, state, and nation, along with reminders. We will also look into some upcoming events at South. You won't want to forget, all after the break. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Call your financial representative, Isaiah Bragg, at 816-795-6340. Hey, Jags, welcome back to school. This is Brandon Jackley, the owner of Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. We want to show you some great things we've been doing with our drive through and Brooklyn is going to show us what that looks like. All right, let's go. Here, underneath the big tent, we've got two lanes full of vehicles, and we have up to four order takers. Hi, I'm Emily. And here, when you pull up to the speaker boxes, we're going to take your payment so the process goes faster. By the time you get to the window, your food is ready to go. And the last stop you'll make after you get your food is our condiment station where you can get our famous Chick-fil-A sauce. Come see for yourself at Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs, across from Home Depot. Come see us soon. Dahlquest Dental has been proudly serving Blue Springs and the community for nearly 40 years. They offer family dentistry to all ages, sedation dentistry, wisdom teeth extractions, and implant surgery. When it comes to insurance, they accept Delta Dental and all PPO insurance plans. And if you're on a very tight budget, payment plans are offered through Care Credit. Find out why so many have trusted Dahlquest Dental for nearly four decades. 
They're located just off the outer road in Blue Springs. Give us a call or visit us at our website, golfwithdental.com. We'll see you soon. This is Zach at the Culver's in Blue Springs. Just wanted to welcome you all back to school and say hope to see you soon. Our drive through has been open during this whole time. It's actually faster than ever. We have people out there when we need to, and there's too many cars to take orders, um, as well as uh, we're getting you in and out and keeping the line moving. So we got some great products in right now. Uh, we got trestle bites, we got pumpkin, shakes, concrete, and as well as we have delicious cheese curds and butter burgers all time. News from South High School in the city of Blue Springs. You're watching JAG TV. In city news, with COVID-19 becoming a stressor for many people in the area, a local Jackson County farm, Falling Down Ranch, began offering goat yoga and therapy sessions to help distract and deal with anxiety and stress. The sessions have grown in popularity and transformed into birthday parties for both children and adults alike. In state news, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes and his fiancee Brittany Matthews recently announced they are expecting their first child together. Mahomes is super excited for this new addition to the Chiefs kingdom and is looking forward to bettering himself to care for his family. In national news, with a huge presidential election coming up, NASA astronaut Kate Rubens will be casting her vote from outer space. Rubin is currently a part of the Expedition 6364 crew stationed on the International Space Station. Rubin will vote from a secure ballot at the Mission Control Center and NASA Johnson Space Station, and the results will be emailed back to the county clerk's office. That's it for City State Nation. I'm Kennedy Stevenson with JAG TV. Hey JAGs, the yearbook has a survey open for students to answer. If you would like to participate in the survey, go to this link. Go to tinyurl.com backslash BSSHS yearbook. The yearbook will also be at its cheapest price until Halloween, so make sure to get orders in. This year's in-person college fair has been canceled, as well as the college planning and financial aid night. Our district is participating in a free fair that also has breakout sessions for families. If you are interested, you can visit bit.ly slash show me my future and learn more about the colleges you are interested in. FAFSA has opened for all families whose senior is college bound. It is suggested that every family should fill this form out to determine if they meet scholarship requirements and qualify for student aid and loans. If you are interested, go to www.fasba.com. Any student interested in joining the military will be able to take the ASVAB on November 5th at South. There will be sign-ups soon in the counseling office, so make sure to keep listening for an announcement as this date is coming up. Those were just some things at South. Now here are some fun things to do in the community. October 24th, there will be an event going on called the Spooky Springs. There will be a hayride through the woods along with s'mores, hot chocolate, games, face painting, and trick-or-treating. It will be from 6 to 8 p.m. at Adams Point Golf Club. There will also be a haunted candy cruise on October 30th at Pink Hill Park. Enjoy a drive around the park and see spooky scenes, trick or treat with local vendors, snacks, and more. This event will take place from 6 to 8 p.m. That's all for reminders. I'm Brandon Kemp, JAG TV. As you know, adapting to the new school year hasn't been anything easy. With the new guidelines relating to COVID-19, it is mandatory we follow these instructions. Wearing a mask at all times and keeping a distance from one another is what's going to keep us safe at all times. Over the last few weeks, we've had over a dozen COVID-19 cases in our district. Now we go to Izzy to see how a local business has adjusted to the pandemic. After everything that's gone on in 2020, it's always great to get out and into the community. Vendors at the Blue Springs Farmers Market take the opportunity every Saturday to get their businesses back up and running. One local business at the market was especially impacted by COVID. We are Casey Vanilla Company and we are selling uh, pure vanilla extract and Madagascar vanilla beans. To go two months into the year and then have COVID happen, uh, it took us kind of by surprise. So it, it stopped a lot of like the, the main events that we had planned for the year. However, many vendors were able to use their online platforms to sell their goods during the quarantine. Uh, but we're also an online company, so uh, it did, you know, a lot of people were home baking, cooking during this time frame, and so we saw a lot of increase in our online uh, traffic as well. The Blue Springs Market is ensuring everyone's safety before they enter the area and is encouraging social distancing as people walk around. Masks on everybody, the vendors, and try to keep the people masked that come in. That's about all we can do, and you know what I mean. The market will be open through October, so there's still time to go and support the many businesses there. If you are looking for a friendly place to get fresh produce and handmade goods, the Blue Springs Farmer's Market is the place to go. I'm Izzy Roberts for JAG TV. After the break, we will see how our sports team performed over the weekend, along with a few events.
Colonial Gardens for shaping hearts and minds through food, flowers, and trees. We have the highest quality plants for your yard and garden, and we offer classes and workshops to guide you along. There's even a market where you can get the freshest products from local farmers. Need a bite to eat? Grab a meal at the local coffee shop and cafe. We are your destination for local and fresh products. Come experience agriculture in a whole new way. Colonial Gardens, located just off South 7 Highway in Blue Springs. Go to our website at colonialgardenskc.com. Welcome to Big Frog, where we make customized t-shirts and face masks in a safe social distancing environment. Let's get started. First, browse through our huge selection of shirts, which you can find online on our website, bigfrog.com slash independence. Second, send a message to the store about what kind of shirts you're looking for, and one of our awesome designers will schedule a video chat. Third, it's off to our awesome printing machine. Then, it's the best part, the call you've been waiting for. Your shirts are ready for pickup. We are doing curbside service and we'll bring them straight to your car. Try it today. Call Big Frog and Independence at 816-795-1115. And our website is bigfrog.com slash independence. Don't let pest control your life. Let Moxie Pest Control be your pain relief. That means a thorough inspection and treatment without dangerous chemicals. Experience the Moxie difference at killbugsfast.com. Moxie Pest Control, Kansas City's pain relief experts. Jag TV Sports is sponsored by Rod Sports of Blue Springs. On Friday, the football team took a trip down to Ray Peck. With only two points through the first three quarters, the Jags were on the board with a 17-yard touchdown pass to Isaiah Frost. The Jags scored ended up falling to the Panthers by a score of 9-28. Friday, they will host Florida Stage in a non-conference matchup. Around the area, Lee Summit West defeated Rockers 27-24. Lee Summit North defeated Blue Springs 38-35. Liberty North defeated Park Hill 21-14. And Liberty defeated Rockbridge 52-28. Girls Volleyball traveled to Lee Summit North. In a tough five-set match, the girls ended up coming on top. In the first set, the girls fought hard back and forth with Aubrey Laporte leading the way with kills. The girls ended up winning 25-23. The next two sets, they fell to the Broncos 25-17 and 25-18. In the fourth and fifth set, the girls fought their way back with Marty Stricker leading the way with aces and Tania McClooney getting game-changing back-to-back blocks. The girls' next game is away against Ray Peck. That's all for sports. Make sure to tune into live games at jagtvnews.com and click the watch live icon. This has been Kate Willie with Jag TV. Blue Springs and Blue Springs South NHS are teaming up for a battle for blood. The district is encouraging students and staff for a good cause. Each year about 6.8 million people donate blood. Donations for battle for blood are accepted from the 12th through the 16th. Make your appointment today at savealifenow.org. Also coming up next week is Community Unity Week where the two high schools will be competing with one another and attempt to raise the most food for our ones in need. The event is held once a year during the month of October. Items such as canned food and box items are accepted along with money. Now we go to Ainsley for some Halloween fun. Hey Jags! Happy October! I'm here with my sister Brynn at her apartment and today we're going to be showing you how we carve pumpkins. First begin by laying out some newspaper on a flat table or surface to help with messes. Then take your pumpkin and draw a good sized circle on the top and begin cutting it out. Now take a spoon and start digging all the pumpkin guts out of your pumpkin. If you're down to get more messy, you can use your hands like my sister is here. Once it's all cleaned out, begin drawing whatever design or jack-o'-lantern face you'd like. Using a knife, cut out your shapes, and in no time, you'll have a masterpiece. Your pumpkin is now ready to be placed outside and ready for Halloween. And here's our finished pumpkins. We hope you enjoyed watching us carve and have a great October. I'm Ainsley McDonald for JAG-TV. That's it for this episode of Jack TV. 
Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and at jagtvnews.com. See you next week.